In this video, you will learn how to create this by clicking on this button. It will move to the next one. So this will show different culture, right? So let's have a look at the code. So we have the app component. Uh, we are using the use state, also import the data from data.js. So in here, we have a list of sculpture. Okay, we have different objects. Inside each object, we have name of the sculpture. We have the artist name. We have the description of the sculpture. Also the link to the image. And this is the description of the image. And the same for the others as well. So there are 12 objects inside this data.js. Now coming here, we have the index. So by default, we set this to zero. We also have a handle click function as well. So this just to increase the index by one every time we click on the button. And this is the sculpture. Basically, we want to get each sculpture, right? Each object from this list here. So it will increase, say, if I click on the button, it increased by one, then it will show me or choose another object from this list. Okay, so one by one. And we have the uh, button itself. So this is the next button. We're calling the handle click function and we have the sculpture name. This is by which artist. And this is the index, which is increased by one every time and how many in total. Okay, so this will be one of 12, two of 12, three of 12, right? As in here, okay? And this is to show the image and also showing the description of the sculpture. Okay, so now let's have a look again. Um, there is something wrong within this code. So I'm going to show you now, okay? So if I click, until the end of this index okay so there are 12 index and what happened if i click again okay so once i click on it nothing happened why that happened because the index we only have a total of 12 right 12 indexes starting from zero but when i click again it will go over that limit it will go out of the bound so that's the issue let me show you again. Okay, this time I'm going to show you the index itself. So let's just write the console log here. Okay, index. Okay, so it starts from zero. So when I click until the end here, right? So this is starting from zero. So until 11 index, so there's 12. Okay, so that's correct. And when I click on it again, so error happened because right now it's showing 12, meaning that there are 13, but we only have 12 in the array, right? So how to fix this issue? Also, let me show you another one as well. So instead of showing the index, I want to show you the object of the sculpture itself. Okay, so do the same thing. Okay, so one by one, it's just showing me different object, right? But when I click on it again, it's undefined. The object is not available. Now let's just try to fix this. So here in the handle click, instead of just using index plus one, you will need to use the modular operator. So this will calculate the remainder after the divisions. Okay. So here you will need to use sculpture list dot length. We want to get the length of the sculpture list and make sure to use the parentheses here as well. So what this does is say if the index it reached 12, right? Number 12. What this does, it will do 12 mod 12. It's equal to zero. And if it increases by another one, say like 13 mod 12, this will equal to one. Okay. 14, this will equal to two. It will always stay within the range of indices which is 12. It will never go out of that, right? So this is what it does. Now let's have a look again. Um, so right now I'm going to change this to index and see what happened now. So I click again up until the end. Okay, so 0 to 11, so there are 12. And when I click on it again, it go back to 0, right? So right now the index is actually 13. And click again, 14. 15 so on and so forth but because we are using the modular operator here it loop back to the beginning okay so we never experience the issue again
right? So again, when it reached the end of the list, it just loop back to the beginning and it ensure that the index stay within the range of the indices of this array. So yep, that's pretty much how you show the sculpture one by one by clicking on a button.